Hi, this is Miss Beautifile, and today we're celebrating Bubble Bath Day. Woo woo woo! <laughs> Have you wondered how bubbles in a bubble bath are different from dishwashing soap or a bar soap, laundry detergent, or body wash? Believe it or not, there's an actual difference. Otherwise, you could just drop a bunch of laundry detergent in the tub and get lots of awesome bubbles and really dry skin. Sure, you don't need bubble bath to get bubbles. In fact, you don't even need a detergent. If you swish around the water fast enough, you can get them by agitating the water, but they won't last very long. This is because bubbles are very fragile and can break easily. They have to fight evaporation, gravity, weak spots in the bubbles, dome-like structure, and ultimately, they pop. <laughs> Plus, water molecules have weak attraction, so they don't hold together, and well, that's another strike. What makes bubble bath special is that it has lots of added ingredients that make lots of strong bubbles and keep them piling up and sticking around so our naughty bits aren't exposed. Miss Beautifile is strictly PG-13, folks. The key to a great bubble bath is the use of surfactants or mild detergents like disodium lauryl sulfosesinate or decloglucoside. Unlike soaps, detergents won't leave a nasty ring around the tub because they won't react with the minerals in the tap water. Also, the detergents in bubble bath are so mild, they're less likely to dry out skin. Now that there are lots of bubbles, we want to keep them hanging around. So some bubble buffs will add humectants like glycerin to attract moisture and to prevent bubble evaporation. Formulas also add polymers like hydroxyethyl cellulose, which creates a film around the bubble. It makes it stretchy so it doesn't burst. Did watching this video make you want to take your own bubble bath? Come join in on the fun! I've included a recipe in the description below so you can whip up some of your own. I'll see you later! What's wrong? I don't look good to you or what? <laughs>